Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing. And if you're back, welcome back. Today, I wanted to hop on and just share a post review with all of you and a reveal of one of my recently completed diamond painting kits. In these videos, I like to show you not only what a particular diamond painting looks like once it's completed, but I also like to just share with you guys some of the different things that I really loved about the canvas and maybe some areas that I was a little uncertain of. So um, today what I have to share with all of you is this absolutely dreamy new friends. Oh my gosh, isn't she just so sweet and adorable? So again, this, the title of this piece is New Friends. It is by the artist Mandy Manzano, if you couldn't tell already from her very distinct stained glass art style. It's very, very characteristic of Mandy Manzano. This is from the company Diamond Art Club, and it is 56 by 56 centimeters, has a total of 46 colors, and has square diamonds. So this was such an adorable kit to work on. It is my, I think my 70 something finish of the year. I started on this kit actually during the live that I did with my friend Lindsay over at Emeralds and Fairy Lights. We did a countdown live for Diamond Art Club's fourth anniversary celebration. This is one of the kits that had sent, been sent to me as a sneak peek and I thought it would just be so fun to work on in that live with everyone. And so yeah, that's when I started it. And I think that she turned out so, so, so adorably. Now, Mandy Manzano has been partnering with Diamond Art Club for a really long time. I think of her as one of Diamond Art Club's staples, one of their OGs. <laughs> She's been around for a very, very long time, and her artwork lends itself incredibly beautifully to Diamond Art Club's rendering style and to diamond art and to diamond paintings in general. I actually hadn't worked on a Mandy Manzano in a little while, so that was my other draw towards working on this kit in particular. The colors are very much my wheelhouse. I love all of the, the muted pastels, the muted tones in here. I am a huge fan of pink in general, and there was certainly a lot of that in this kit. The timing actually worked out as well because I thought, even though there's not an official Mermay event for diamond painting, there's like a mermaid in the in the artist world and I just thought well I'll just sort of do my own like mermaid themed diamond painting just to go along with the fun of that event so there was a lot that I enjoyed about working on this kit there is a decent amount of color blocking color blocking is when you have sections that have um, a lot of the same color in a small area so like this whole section over here is the same shade of blue, the same DMC. So I was using my multi-placer and zipping through those sections that did have color blocking. Honestly, that's that's pretty typical with Mandy Manzano's artwork is that you'll see a decent amount of color blocking. But then you'll have some other colors kind of mixed in to give it some of that stained glass texture. This kit had a total of four ABs in it that I thought were so sparkly and added a lot of amazing sparkly goodness to this painting. So we have this pale yellow AB that you'll see in sections of the bottom. This was a more subtle AB I feel like, but it definitely has that extra sparkle and picks up some of the colors around it. We had this white AB that you'll find through the various kind of like bubble and sparkle shapes throughout the kit. It was almost always this white AB, which is one of Diamond Art Club's favorite ABs, I feel like, but it just, it worked so perfectly for this painting, especially because it's kind of supposed to have that underwater effect. You can see that white AB over here as well in these different bubble shapes. You can see that extra shimmer on those. There we go. And then we had, where are you? Oh, we had some of the white AB in the shells that she's wearing. And then we have this pink AB. You can see it sparkling there. Kind of a pale pink AB. Are you noticing a theme? Pale, pale pastels, even for these ABs. Some of that pale pink AB there. Look at how beautifully her face is charted. I love, love, love how they rendered her face. It looks so good. 
Uh, she has a little bit of that pink AB highlighting in her hair, the lightest part of her hair. Some more of the pink ABs up here in this pink section, and of course the white ABs in kind of these bubble shapes. And then we had a little bit more of a striking blue AB that was mostly up here in this corner, you can see. I don't want to totally focus, but you can see that blue AB up here. Gives a little texture off to the side. So the ABs were certainly one of my favorite, favorite parts about this kit. I thought that they looked so, so, so nice. I thought that overall their rendering was so, so lovely, especially without having to go to like a massive size canvas. A lot of Diamond Art Club's canvases lately have been very large. One of the things that really drew me to this one, especially to work on, is I was like, I just want something a little bit smaller. So this one, I think I said was 56 by 56 centimeters. And especially with all the color blocking, it felt like that made it a much more manageable size. But I love that even at this size, we don't lose any of the lovely detail like in her face and in her hands. I just feel like they really achieved that overall really like graceful and delicate look, which I think can be a little bit tricky to achieve in diamond painting form, especially if you're not going to go to a really large size. One of the other things I loved was look at the little fishy friend. <laughs> the fish makes up such a tiny part of this diamond painting, but between the fish and the mermaid here, like their cute little interaction here, I thought was just so, 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 so cute. I just, I felt a little drill kind of popping up a little bit here. So, um, that I think was just, I was trying to move quickly. <laughs> Diamond Art Clips drills do not tend to pop. I have not run into that genuinely, <laughs> but they they do have um, their newer square diamonds were in this kit and their new square diamonds are much more consistent in size and quality. They're really shiny and sparkly and you can tell that if they're the new square diamonds because the new ones will have all 13 facets cut onto the top. The older diamonds will have a mix of nine and 13 cut on the top. And I did think that this was Diamond Art Club's uh, newer, slightly tighter square drill field. So starting with new releases a few months ago, we started to see some, not necessarily all, some of their square drill diamond painting kits um, being just a tiny bit tighter as far as the grid goes this is a good thing. We were noticing a little bit of gapping sometimes. And the idea was that any glue that was like exposed to the air still in those gaps would kind of cure and kind of tug those diamonds in just a little bit. And we'd see less of the gap over time. But I do appreciate that Diamond Art Club decided to try out like, let's try tightening up the drill field, the grid just a little bit. And that means that these diamonds fit so snugly, but I have not run into popping, which is really, really nice. Um, I like that I don't have to worry about seeing any gapping and I feel like the drills line up really nicely and that really helps, especially in the lighter colors, like the, the lightest part of her face. A lot of times it's easy to see if you don't have your drills perfectly straight and it's, I mean, it's impossible to get perfectly straight drills anyway, but with a tight drill field, a tight grid like this, they just, they snap into place. It's really satisfying to diamond paint on a canvas that has those, uh, that tighter drill field. And yeah, that was definitely my experience with this one. One thing that I was a little bit uncertain of, and I am on the fence about this right now, even I was looking at this canvas and looking at the original artwork beforehand, trying to decide how do I feel about this? How do I feel about it now that it's complete? Because skin tones are really tricky, but let me show you this. So this is the original artwork, New Friends. To be honest with you, when I look at the original artwork, I see what looks to me to be a person of color, um, someone with a darker skin tone. And this, I absolutely see where they've charted these darker skin tones. I think the blending is so gorgeous, by the way. Like, especially like having these, these matching tones, like it doesn't feel jarring to me. It looks really, really beautiful. Um, and I know that they are limited as far as what DMCs are available to them, um, are available to them, but I just am hesitate about, hesitant about how this translates and, I guess when I look at it in camera, it does look a bit closer to the original artwork, 
but I just love when we have diversity represented in diamond paintings. And I hope that we can continue to move towards like um, having more of that and, and seeing that translated really beautifully. So I do think that this is beautiful and that they did a really nice job of getting super, super close. I don't know even that those like exact colors would have been available, but yeah, here's that original artwork again of Manny Manzano's. And you are welcome to disagree with me, <laughs> just so you know. I Like I said, I'm just on the fence about it, about how it kind of looks overall. Um, but that's me being incredibly nitpicky, I think. So I just wanted to point it out just to kind of get what your thoughts are as well. But like I said, I think that they did a really nice job with the blending. And can we talk about how beautiful her tail is, by the way? Um, I love, love, love. There's some white ABs in here. I kind of wish that like in Manny Manzano's artwork, we would have gotten to see more of her tail because I bet it just would have been absolutely striking and stunning. So anyway, you guys, I loved, loved, loved working on this kit. I, it took me just a little bit more time than it might normally take me to finish a kit this size because I was working on a couple other kits at the same time. It felt like this kit was a little bit slow going for my typical pace, but um, it still worked up pretty quickly within a couple of weeks. So anyway, I highly recommend this one if this looks like artwork that you love. If you know that you love working on Mandy Manzano kits from Diamond Art Club, I have no doubt that you'll love working on this one as well. And if you haven't had the chance to try a Mandy Manzano piece from Diamond Art Club, I think you should. I think that they translate really, really beautifully. This would be so cute to like hang in a kid's room or something like that. It's just... It translated so beautifully. I keep saying beautifully, but that's just the best word I have for it. So uh, again, just to recap, this is New Friends. This is from Diamond Art Club and Mandy Manzano. It's 56 by 56 centimeters, has 46 colors with a total of four amazing ABs. I did have, I forgot to show this, I did have plenty of every color left over, which that is also very typical for Diamond Art Club. <laughs> Here are those four ABs. So I'll definitely be saving those maybe to enhance the project in the future, but yay, love all those pretty colors. That, that set of colors is my happy place. I love it, love it, love it. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and gave you a sense for what to expect, if not from this piece specifically, at least what you can expect from Diamond Art Club and their Manny Manzano pieces, what the finished effect may look like. So happy shopping. I'll link to this kit below. Um, and if it's in stock, I suggest grabbing it. So I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day. If you're not already subscribed and wanna see lots more diamond painting content from me, feel free to subscribe. Then you can even hit the bell to be notified when I share new videos. All right, my friends, have an absolutely amazing day. I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.